Hello, Robin Moore here with today's Reminder Vater. I was reading recently about humiliation, sometimes opening the door to one's humility. And I suddenly remembered a recording session once where I had to read an audio visual for an architectural firm. And I found a word I'd never seen before. Uh, not wanting to look ridiculous or unintelligent, I assumed it was a French architectural term. So I went for it. And I, I read the script like this. The architectural firm decided to ruse the building because this would save considerable amounts of money. And all the architects fell on the floor laughing and said, no, 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 read it properly. So I had another go at it. The architectural firm decided to ruse the building because this would save considerable amounts of money. What was the word? It was reuse. Ruse. And I was totally humiliated. It was a great lesson where I found my humility. And now I always ask questions. And the older I get, the more I realise I just don't know. And sometimes humility actually taps you on the shoulder when you least expect it. I was volunteering with my fellow Make-A-Wish volunteers on Saturday at a wonderful party called the Special Children's Christmas Party. These parties are held in every state around Australia and it's an opportunity for disadvantaged families to come along, have a grand party and for their children to get beautiful presents. So there we were, full of experience working with our precious Make-A-Wish families, their children all having life-threatening medical conditions. But we were shocked to actually uh, open our eyes to other circumstances. We met one beautiful lady who had seven foster children. One family had three children, all with autism. A lady wheeled a, a double pram in with two children with severe disabilities. Uh, it went on and on and on, and we were manning the toy room. There was so much joy in there as each child came in and they were given a great big bag of toys. I and two fellow volunteers manned the penguin pile. So our job was to give away <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of penguins. We could have just said, here's a penguin, here's a penguin, but we practiced first time and we made each experience so special. And a child would be brought over and they'd say, this is Sonia. And I go, oh, Sonia, a penguin has been calling your name. And we'd reach in and get a penguin and it was going, Sonia, 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 Sonia. And then we'd nuzzle the children in the neck so they could feel how soft and cuddly the penguins were. It was absolutely gorgeous. There were so many giggles on the day. At the end, we all stood in a huddle after we cleaned up. And we were very quiet, not like our normal noisy Make-A-Wish volunteer selves. Because something had happened that day, uh, we'd altered. We were serving those who serve others. Uh, sometimes children were actually, you know, serving their parents who had mental health, health issues or had disabilities. Uh, all the tables were turned. And we didn't go home depleted because we were practicing first time. We went home with an abundance of appreciation, an abundance of respect, an abundance of joy an abundance of satisfaction, having given so many thousands of children joy and toys for Christmas. But mostly we went home with an abundance of humility. So maybe volunteer just for a day before Christmas and let humility tap you on the shoulder.